articles and recently on uh, photorealism. Some of the old dudes were complaining about the fact that some of these pictures are like 80% Photoshop. It's like there is stuff going on in the pictures that is more radical than a Pixar movie, which of course Pixar is completely 100% computer generated fakery, right? Like Finding Nemo or something and little talking fishes. The photography <laughs> now is kind of imitating uh, a Pixar movie, a still from a Pixar movie. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? And it's kind of a bad thing if you're talking about uh, Reuters or BBC or uh, New York Times and that they've been caught doing some nasty, guilty stuff of that. The only place, in photography is an art form, the only place that I could actually think of, and it's really like two places, um, photojournalism and news outlets, there needs to be developed a, a standard by which... Um, the SD cards or XQD cards or whatever they are cards that are actually given to the editor. If they have to be edited by the person, like in a war zone, in their MacBook, as is often the case. By the way, I love it when people complain about Apple Mac. Now, I'm no lover of Steve Jobs at all. But isn't it interesting that like 95% of the computers are PCs? But 90 or 95 percent of the photo and video editing is on a Mac. Let's go over those numbers again really quickly. I just had an epiphany. 95 percent of computers are PC, but 90 percent of the photo editing that goes on and video editing is on a Mac. So that means that Apple is 5 percent of the computer share but they're over 90% of the photo editing, people that photo edit photos. I mean, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting as a side note? Yeah. Um, for all those people out there that have been complaining about Mac. Uh, <laughs> what about a standard whereby which that, uh, you know, a news corporation, BBC, New York Times, which I absolutely do not respect them at all, any way, shape, or form, but news outlets that they actually develop a standard whereby which they could say that something has only been cropped and adjusted for contrast. There could be a, a standard developed whereby which verity is established and you'd have to hold the photographer on location that's uh, cropping the shot to that standard otherwise they'd lose their damn job, right? It's like once they actually send that picture in to be published they need to keep uh, the unedited JPEG or RAW file preferably the raw, the digital negative, which is the true thumbprint. Everybody should be shooting uh, raw anyway. Um, shooting raw plus fine, i.e. raw plus JPEG is fine too. Uh, but they have to turn those cards in as proof of the images, that they were only cropped and contrast sliders adjusted so that you could actually see what it is you're looking at. There actually should have been already implemented, and there's not, unless it's, there has been by Reuters on a company level basis. But there needs to be developed a standard whereby which for photojournalism and news that uh, you could call it uh, uh, digital Mark I uh, uh, guarantee, or you, you could call it uh, uh, digital. Uh, Digital uh, evidence, DEV, digital evidence uh, verification, it, no matter what you want to call it. And all the uh, news corporations could adopt this standard whereby which, hey, we only cropped it and we adjusted the contrast or the brightness so you could see the image better. And uh, nothing else was done. No, nothing was removed as far as like someone's face or... All image, uh, photography image has been fakery since day one. I mean, even Ansel Adams dodging and burning and pushing and pulling the film and uh, people dodging out things in, uh, in the, the enlarging room. All photography is a damn lie. I mean, lighting alone. I mean, if you got the, light, uh, the right lighting, you can make a dump look like paradise. I mean, this is actually a photographer's job. Like when they go to take a picture of a, of a crappy motel and that guy offers the photographer a couple hundred bucks, like, make it look great, yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone take like a sunrise or sunset shot and then, you know, edit the hell out of the picture. I mean, it's like, wow, this is a nice hotel, honey. He's like, no, it's a dump. It, the, 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 what's going on here is that the photographer is really good. This is the best one that photographers love to do. And Darren Miles, if you're watching this one, 
you know, this is also true. Like this, people take a picture of like a dumpy, tiny hotel room, and then the smart photographer's like, I'm going to stick my wide angle on this bitch, yeah. And then they <laughs> take a picture, and this dumpy little tiny hotel room will look so spacious. It'll it'll go from like, hey, it's a dumpy little hotel room. I'm going to slap on my fisheye lens. It's like, wow, it's a big old room. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, this is true. If you don't know it, you know it now. All photography is fakery. All of it is fakery. It is about not what you see, but what you project into what you want to be seen. It's undeniable. It's irrefutable. It's been going on since camera. As soon as a camera was developed, the, the next thought out of someone's head was, how can I make this uh, crap look better? How can I like make this ugly old broad uh, look less wrinkly? Um, oh, yeah. It's like uh, back in the days of uh, dirty magazines, they'd like take uh, pictures of these uh, ugly old chicks with wrinkles. It's like, you know, they didn't have Photoshop back then, right? You know, we're talking about film photography. Like, you know, I tell you what, oh, Bob, I got a great idea. We'll, te we'll screw on a clear filter on the front of this lens and then, yeah, take, a, take some Vaseline and smear a little bit on the, on the front filter. And that wrinkled old chick, she gonna look pretty damn good on that film, yeah. That's exactly what happened, too, by the way. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's so, that's not only funny, it is 100% true. True. Uh, so, look at, photography is an art form, where it uh, should not be uh, an art form, but an expression of one's art i.e. artifice, is a, a, an industry standard, could be developed. And nobody would have to adopt it, but it's like, I don't trust this uh, this news outlet or this uh, newspaper because they haven't adopted the standard yet. And that standard is something that will be coming because people will demand it. Because there's been a lot of news organizations that have been called out. They've actually published something as real, and it turns out it's like, man, the, man, the photographer edited the piss out of that shot. It's not like he just cropped it and change the uh, the contrast lighters. Now it's like he removes stuff and stuck stuff in to make it look more... And, and the, the photograph was not real. No photograph is real, I mean, at all, because you can change... Simply by changing your uh, ISO or your shutter speed, you can add drama by changing the contrast and the way the specular and the diffuse and the shadow falls. You can make a pretty girl look like a demon simply by changing the lighting on her face. If the picture's untouched, it's completely real, but it's still total manipulation. It's like, I can make this pretty girl look ugly. I can make her look like a witch. It's like, how are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to turn all the lights off, and then I'm going to throw, throw some light underneath her chin. And then I'm going to throw a red filter over here. I'm going to make this hot girl look like a witch. The picture has been unedited and is completely original, but it is also total fake BS. Okay? That's fine. That's been happening since day one. When the first camera rolled out uh, off of the assembly line, the first assembled camera, that's the first thing people would think about. It's like, how could I make this look like this, you know? I see that this looks like this, but I don't want it to look like this. I want it to look like, you know, what I'm thinking of right here. Filters, flashes, lighting. Everything is fake. The whole world is fake. The question is... Will industry develop a standard as far as news and photojournalism when they say, look, it, you could only crop it and adjust the brightness and contrast. Some sort of, uh, you know, industry standard for photojournalistic uh, integrity in that sense for the photographer. That will be developed and uh, people will have to latch on to like a standard. And if it falls uh, within that standard, then, you know, people will give it more credibility. It will have to be adhered to, and if, like, the photographer on location doesn't do it, then he or she gets fired. So, anyway, but everything is fake, you know? It's all fake, you know? You don't even have to Photoshop it or dodge or burn or anything. Make, you know, for example, a hot chick look like a witch. All you have to do is change the lighting. Everything is fake. Everything is fake is also real, but that is a matter for another discussion. Because photography is not what's in the camera, it's what's right here. Okay? Camera is a stupid piece of crap, no matter how advanced it is. It's all what goes on here. Okay? Bye.